Welcome to today's 15 minute workout. I got full body for you today. So we're gonna start today with lateral hops. You guys got three, two, and one side to side with lateral hops. So we're getting a little bit of everything today. Legs, arms, abs, you name it. And let's shadow box, jab cross. One, two, only one, one, two. Keep those hands up. We're gonna drop down for regular push-ups in three, two, and one. Regular push-ups. Remember to exhale as you're pushing up on with these push-ups. As you guys go down, exhale on the way up. We're gonna bring it up, we're gonna lock out our legs, and we're gonna go into walk-out push-ups in three. Two, and one. So bring it up, lock those legs out, walk out, push up, and then walk it back. Don't bend those legs. And then walk it back. Keep going. If you thrust forward at the top a little bit, give those glutes an extra little bit of workout. All right, ready? Here we go. Regular squats. Three, two, and one. We're gonna move quick. We're gonna move quick. This is a 15 minute workout. So we don't have any active rests, and we're only in them for about 20 seconds, so we want to give them all we got, and we want to move quick. Turn these into jump squats in three, two, and one. Jump squats. For now, if you have any issue, can't give me those jump squats, that's all right. You guys can give me regular squats, or you can give me in and out squats, which are also lighter on your knees than those jump squats. We're gonna go down in a couple seconds on our backs. Big scissor kicks in three, two, and one. Here we go, big scissor kicks. Keep those legs locked. Keep them as straight as possible. Full range of motion here. So as one leg is up, one leg is down, you look at a 90 degree angle every time. Now we're gonna tighten these up and make them flutter kicks. Let's go, tighten them up. Make them flutter kicks. Keep those abs tight. Flutter, 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 flutter. We're gonna move quick. When I say go, back up to our feet. We're gonna shadow box with hooks only. Get ready, get set, and go up to your feet. Here we go. Now these I want non-stop. Non-stop hooks. Exhaling with every punch. We're gonna drop it down. We got shoulder taps next in three, two, and one. Drop it down. We got shoulder taps. Tap, 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 tap. Keep that back level. Keep your quads and your core tight. As we're doing this, we don't wanna go from side to side. We don't want our body shaking. Mess up up here. Just non stop. All right, let's add that push up in between. So, tap, tap, push up. Tap, tap, push up, keep going. Tap, tap, push up. Make sure you guys are exhaling. Exhaling for the tap, tap, and for the push up. We're gonna move to legs next. We're gonna bring it up for those curtsy squats. In three, two, and one. Bring it up, and step behind. Step behind. So instead of I well, should say, take your, like, your right leg and go behind your left leg and out to the side, as you guys can see here. And then you're gonna make that 90 degree angle. Think about curtsying, because that's why they call it a curtsy squat. So you guys have probably done this before, but just in case, now you know how. Without just watching. So we're gonna add a little hop in between. We're gonna turn them into skaters in three, two, and one. So check it out, hop, hop. All you're doing is adding that hop in between. So I'm working on a small mat here, not as easy for me, but hopefully you guys are on regular ground. And then you guys can really go from side to side and move nice and quick, and not have to worry about where your mat cuts off. Keep moving. We're gonna drop down, hands to the mat when I say go. And we're gonna go into mountain climber steps. I want you guys to bring those knees all the way into your chest. 
All right, bring them all the way in. It's gonna feel good on your legs, because after doing these curtsy squats and these skaters, it's gonna be like shaking them out. And drop it down, here we go. Mountain climber steps. Pull those knees in, pull them in. So now you're shaking out your legs, working your abs, and you're working your shoulders all at the same time. You're working your chest with this as well, your back is involved. These are all for the most part full body workouts when we're doing kickboxing. So depending on what we're doing, we're just isolating certain areas. All right, bring it back up for those lateral hops in three, two, and one. So kickboxing and a lot of the workouts we do within, you need your core. You can't do it without your core. And your core is involved in everything. So even when we're doing things like squats, you're using your core because you have to stabilize. Okay, now we're gonna shadow box that jab cross in three, two, and one. Again, just one, two. Now even for this, even though we're getting our cardio with our arms, we're still using our abs and we're pulling. This is all core here when we're doing this. All right, so your core is used in everything. Dropping down for regular push-ups in three, two, and one. Now without using that core, we'd be all over the place with our push-ups. We wouldn't be able to do them, right? But because we keep our core nice and tight, that's what allows us to keep that back nice and level within those push-ups. Now, we have walkout push-ups next. So when you bring your feet up to the ground, lock those legs out. Three, two, and one. Lock them, shoulder width apart, and then walk out. Now as you walk out, guess what? Yeah, you're using your arms here, your legs are locked, but you need your core to help get you out for that push-up. And then you also need that core to walk you back, if you don't know what I mean as you're doing it. Put your hand on your stomach, you're using those abs. We got regular squats in three, two, and one. And even as we're doing these, our core is what isolates, we isolate in the core here while working our legs because this is what's keeping us nice and steady. This is what's helped keeping our back nice and upright. If we didn't use our core, we'd be all over the place. So getting way more out of these exercises than you think just because we're isolating one part doesn't mean we're not working that core and other things. All right, jump squats, let's do it. Air between your feet and the ground. Jump it nice and high. Remember, you can modify this. You can modify with regular squats. You can modify with in and out squats. <sighs> Breathe, super important. On our backs for scissor kicks in three, two, and one. Here we go, nice big scissor kicks. <sighs> nice wide strides. Make sure you're really making those strides. You don't wanna be just here doing this. Nice big kicks. Now we're gonna bring them in for flutter kicks in three, two, and one. Now you can go tighter with these. And again, isolating that core. The quicker you move these feet, the more you work on those abs. I want you to really keep that core tight as you're doing these flutter kicks. We're gonna bring it up to our feet next. We're gonna shadow box with those hooks. Only this time, I want hook, hook, not non-stop. Ready, set, and go, bring it up. So now we're not going non-stop. I want hook, 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 hook. And I want you to really pull. Really use that body, use those abs, use those arms. All right, pull hard with those. You're not going non-stop. It's easier to pull those punches hard, torque. A lot of torque. We're gonna drop it back down. When I say go, we got those shoulder taps again. And go, drop it down, here we go, tap it out, tap it out. When you're doing these shoulder taps, the only thing that should be moving here are your hands. So if you find that your body's swaying all over, separate your feet, that'll help you get that balance. And slowly but surely, as your classes go on, you wanna move those feet together so that eventually you're in a plank position doing these taps and not swaying. Let's add that push up, tap, tap, push up, tap, tap, push up. Remember, exhaling. And on that push up. Where things are the most painful or where you want to exhale. It'll help push you through that workout, that particular part of the exercise. And bring it up to your feet. Got those curtsy squats. So remember, step behind.
as you step behind, that back leg is still coming down at a 90 degree angle. We're not just stepping behind and coming this way. Step into it, drop into it. And we're gonna add that little jump. I'm gonna turn them into skaters in three, two, and one. So side to side, add that hop, and then step out. I'll move myself more to the center here. Here. And the better you get at it, the more rhythm and balance you gain, the faster you guys can go. All right, palms to the mat. Mountain climber steps, three, two, and one. Blast them out. Mountain climber steps. Pull those knees into your chest nice and fast. Make sure those butts aren't up in the air. Remember, look forward. Many of you guys go to look at your toes while you're doing it. Your back's gonna go up in the air and your body's gonna look like an A. All right, bring it back up to our feet. Lateral hops in three, two, and one. Side to side with these lateral hops. Side to side. Keep it light on the balls of your feet. We're gonna go back to that shadow boxing jab cross. You're gonna go non-stop this time. Non-stop. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Non-stop. We got push-ups next in three, two, and one. Let's go. Dropping down for those push-ups. Basic push-ups right here. Keep going. You're working your arms here. You're working your abs. Again, you're isolating the upper body, but you're using so many more muscles to help you do this push-up here. Next, we're gonna lock out those legs. We got those walk-out push-ups in three, two, and one, walk out push up. So remember, as you're doing these and you're locking out your legs, you don't want your legs to be together. You want them shoulder width apart. Lock them out, drop down, walk out, push up, and then walk yourself back. Give that little thrust and down again. Basic squats in three, two, and one. Regular squats right here. Try and drop that butt as low to the ground as you can, and then push up. Again, squeeze those glutes at the top. Don't miss out on that little exercise at the top for those glutes. We're gonna add that jump in three, two, and one. Jump squats, here we go. Non-stop jump squats. Non-stop jump squats. Make sure that when you guys are jumping, you're trying to jump as high as you can. So don't just do this, okay? Make sure your form is there. Get all the way down, jump, jump. Point those toes down, it will help you. On your back, scissor kicks, let's go. <clears throat> Make sure your head and shoulders off the ground. You shouldn't have them on the ground and trying to do this. Pick them up. And turn them into little flutter kicks, little flutter kicks. The harder you guys push now, the more you guys are going to see results. So if having abs or losing weight in the midsection is something that you're, you know, is one of your goals, here's where you got to make it happen. You can't just sit back and expect it to happen on its own. You got to work it every time we have an ab exercise or any time we're pushing through. And bring it back up to your feet. Shadow boxing with hooks nonstop. We're almost there, guys. Stay with it. Now, we're gonna shut, drop down for those shoulder taps one more time. Keep moving with those hooks. When I say go, drop down. And remember, you can put those feet apart for balance to start and tap away. Three, two, and one. Shoulder taps, let's go. Tap, 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 tap. The only thing you want moving here are your arms. All right, so again, if you have to separate your feet a little bit so that just your arms are moving, your core is gonna be what keeps your hips in place. Let your quads help you. Keep them both tight. They will stabilize your body. We'll get ready, because we're gonna add that push up in three, two, and one. Tap, tap, push up, tap, tap, push up. Keep going, tap, tap, push up. 
We're gonna isolate the lower body next. So push it here, push it. Four seconds, we're bringing it up for those curtsy squats. Three, two, and one. On your feet, and again, side to side. Step it back. Again, think about curtsying, right? That's what this is, a curtsy squat. And this too requires balance, and it's gonna require even more balance now because we're gonna add that hop. Give me those skater squats, side to side. Remember, now you're giving that hop. So from that curtsy squat, you're gonna hop and hop and a little hop, and then you can get faster and faster and faster. All right, we've got one more thing to do, and then we are done. Remember, 20 seconds here, mountain climber steps. In three, two, and one. Let's go, right to the end with these mountain climber steps. Don't pace yourself. Try and move as fast as you can here. Move as fast as you can. Bring those knees in toward your chest. I'm gonna count you guys down. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. Nice job. Give it up for yourself. Thank you for joining me for today's 15 minute full body workout. And I hope you guys join me for the next.